The last two experiments here. So this is my crystal growing experiment. On this side, we had calcium acetate made from dissolving an excess of eggshells in vinegar for a few days. On this side, we have sodium carbonate made by heating up um, baking soda in a toaster oven for like 20 minutes. And both sides, as you can see, are saturated. Were both our solutes were dissolved in the solvent water. In between the two, we have this membrane, which is made via um, tampons, which are cotton and um, sodium polyacrylate water lock, also known as water gel, as well as cotton intermixed in there in layers as to separate the two sides partially but not fully so that the solvents combine very slowly in a very slow chemical reaction and produce crystals. The experiment originally was going to be six weeks but I decided to amp it up to 11 just to make a hundred percent sure that I get the best results. So after 11 days the calcium acetate side has all this fine powder on the bottom. So I suspect this might be calcium carbonate, which is insoluble in water. Although, um, the carbonate ions don't really travel very fast across this barrier. They might actually travel fast. I didn't theorize that they would, but they could have. And on this side, we have these weird looking crystal shapes on the bottom, which is exactly what we wanted. So now, we are going to disassemble the rig. So I'm going to begin by removing the water lock right here. Okay. Now this side was the uh, calcium carbonate side. So this is the side that I expect to have grown crystals. Oh, I see. There is some hardening slash crystal growth, definitely. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I am going to remove the layers um, to see if I can get to the crystals or, like, remove them. So I am gently prying it out. And, yeah, there is definite crystal growth all around the edge. So look at all that crystal growth. All the white stuff right there. Uh, it might be. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, the crystals are rather brittle. Let's see if we got any good ones, though. I think I'm gonna like put this in water. Oh, those are cool. So, as you can see right here. Look at those crystals. If there are calcite crystals, they're very small and rather brittle. However, they might have fallen down to the bottom of here. So this is the uh, sodium carbonate solution. And as you can see at the bottom, there are a bunch of strange shaped crystals. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to take a small sample of both solutions. So this is the sodium carbonate solution, um, and now I'm going to take a small sample of the uh, calcium acetate solution, and I'm going to see how they react to see if the reaction actually worked. So if, if the reaction did not work, or only partially worked, if the then this will turn cloudy. Ah uh, yes, and you see how cloudy that is? 
yeah, the reaction didn't really produce the results that I had hoped for. The two solutions did not mix as much as they were intended to. Which is why the crystals we see are so small. Okay, so we are going to slowly pour out the sodium carbonate solution into a new container. And, uh, check this out. So all that stuff at the bottom is rather cloudy. Although there are a couple, like, crystal-shaped things. Those are definitely calcite crystals. They are not very high quality, however. They are kind of cloudy. They... I suspect it's from contamination, but... The experiment kind of worked. But did it fully work? Did it work as much as I really wanted it to work? So as you can see, all of the really heavy crystals fell to the bottom of the container. They broke off of this thing because it was vertically inclined or whatever. I don't know the proper term for it. At the bottom of this calcium acetate solution, there was also cloudy stuff. So I suspect that the membrane did not... On this side, the membrane grew crystals, but on this side, it just grew powder. So, yeah. So, anyway, the experiment was kind of a dud. I mean, was it a completely a dud? Was it... No. We got some results. However... We really didn't get as many results as we would have liked to have gotten from an experiment like this. I would have expected there to be more calcite crystal growth. I would have expected the crystals to be a little bit larger. Oh, uh, the crystals are like brittle. Maybe these are calcite crystals? Maybe they aren't. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of this. I'm going to add some very hot water to this to try and dissolve anything that's not calcite crystals since calcite is insoluble in water. I added some hot water uh, from my Keurig, almost boiling. Try and dissolve everything that's not calcite crystals. Since calcite doesn't dissolve in water. This way, we can hopefully just separate out the calcite crystals from all the other junk that's not calcite crystals. Same thing to the other side. The crystals look pretty interesting. They look kind of yellow on this other side. Okay, so the crystals, I suppose, have been in for long enough in the hot water. I'm going to pour off the hot water gently. In the hot water was a good idea. It really loosened up a lot of the crystals and also dissolved a lot of the junk crystals that weren't actually calcite. And yeah, as you can see, we have calcite crystals that are surprisingly large. Like, look how big those are. However, they are quite cloudy. You see, the calcite crystals that you use in optics have to be really, really clear. So I can't use these from my microscope, but it was still really cool to try to grow calcite crystals. So hope you enjoyed and see you in the next vid.